Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to flower season. So today's video is going to be a harvest video. Um, but first I want to show you guys my perennial hibiscuses. These are from Proven Winners and they start blooming. They look amazing. They don't get a lot of sun uh in the area that i have them because a tree kind of shades them a little bit but they have turned out amazing they look so pretty and i'm just so happy with them <laughs> um all right so i this is this vegetable garden is the first time we have it this year this area was didn't look like this at the beginning of the year you guys saw everything from zero to 100 now <laughs> uh, i already harvest a few tomatoes um but i haven't done like a super big harvest where i have gathered a lot of things so today was the day and i wanted to show you guys uh the whole everything i got from the garden <laughs> so i'm picking a few of these chadwick tomatoes these are cherry tomatoes they're so sweet they're really uh they're really big next year i think i'm gonna try the super sweet 100 or the sun gold uh cherry tomatoes and i'm also going to uh, buy some of the uh, either roma tomatoes or like a um beefsteak tomato i don't know which variety i want to try if anybody knows of some good varieties just let me know in the comments below and i'll see if i get that variety i'm just super excited i've been like um doing a little bit of research to see what's better and what will produce more in the in the method that i already tried which is just one stem it just looks nicer and it does produce a lot and you know it, it doesn't get overwhelming so I think I'm going to do uh, maybe two or three stems next year instead of just one. But yeah, I really like how everything looks so nice and neat. And look at that. It's a big amount of tomatoes that we've gotten. And oh my gosh, I still have more in my, um, in my kitchen <laughs> that I already harvested uh, previous days. The kids have been helping me a lot too. They have been, every time we go outside, they see a rip, uh, ripened tomato, they grab it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it's been super super nice and it's just been a really nice experience you know growing your own food even though i don't have a lot of things here in my garden like um to eat but it just has been a really amazing experience so far <laughs> i'm also going to harvest some of my nevechan onions i've used these onions so much i already harvest a bunch of them they're super easy to grow and they have done amazing in the garden and they taste amazing as well so here's my pe pepper bed so i only have two um two of these veggie beds with vegetables um and i like you guys can see <laughs> i i really packed them up with a lot of different things and right here in this bed is mostly peppers and a few onions Oh, and we have uh, cucumbers and zucchinis as well. But yeah, the serrano peppers have done amazing. These pov poblano peppers, this is the first two I've harvested the whole year so far. I don't know if they're going to produce more or not. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to buy better varieties next year. Just because um, I feel like the varieties I got, I didn't really do a really good um, research on them. So next year, I'll try to do better with that. <laughs> and the onions... Uh, I also picked the wrong variety for my area. That's why they haven't grown so much. But they're still super delicious uh, to grill outside um, and to add to eggs and stuff like that. So we have harvested quite a few of those as well. And I, yeah, I'm super happy with everything. And this is everything that we got today. It was a very big harvest for this small space, only two beds. Um, and I... I've been having issues with my zucchinis. I don't think they're being uh, uh, pollinated by, you know, insects. So they have been rotting. But yeah, we'll try to get a better variety next year. My potatoes. <laughs> so potatoes you're supposed to cut or trim back or wait till they die back the foliage. I just ended up uh, trimming it or pulling the foliage off. And we're going to wait a whole week to get uh, to pull them out. Um, you guys can see I have a few potatoes that came up with the with the stems and they're so big I can't wait to see what's inside of these um, of these bags I'm super excited to see <laughs> so I like I said I'm just grabbing whatever is coming up with the stems with the uh, foliage 
uh, on the roots of the foliage uh, but yeah look at that one that one is amazing and they're so big but yeah I'm super excited to see to see my potatoes <laughs> that was one of the things that we were super excited about when we uh, when we were deciding what to plant in this area but yeah <laughs> super excited about this And the reason why you have to wait a, a week uh, to pull them out is because the skin is super soft right now. So you need it needs about a week for the skin to get a little bit more tough um, on the, you know, so that's why <laughs> you don't have to by any means. You don't have to, but I'm going to do it to see if, you know, there's a difference since we already pulled some and I can see that the uh, skin is super tender. But yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm super excited to see if I have more potatoes in there or not. <laughs> but look at that. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. Growing veggies has been so rewarding. It, it's just, I don't know. I don't know how to ex explain the feeling, but if you guys have grown veg vegetables, uh, let me know if you guys know what I'm talking about because it feels so good. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you guys like this video and see you till next time. Bye-bye.